I've had this GoPro set up for almost three full days in that time. We've had a fair bit of wind and then overnight on, on the last night we had some rain. Uh, trying version two of doing a temporary weatherproofing option and then I'm running this off of a battery backup. I've been using a four amp hour 18 volt Makita battery with an adapter to run and I can get Oh, uh, maybe 28 to 30 hours of runtime off of that battery. Trying to change it out every day, but I'm not there at the same time every day and haven't had any problems yet. So this is what it looks like, uh, version two. Still siliconing in the original GoPro cable uh, to the case. Let me get that pulled out. See what it's like in here. I can push that out. Oh, there you can see. Sorry. So what I did is use the electrical tape over the HDMI port, put the sticky tack down over that uh, to help fill the cavity and use less silicone and then you can see where the silicone has kind of oozed up into the the cavity between the body and the camera itself or, or the camera body and the housing for mounting so you can see this worked much better than the first time when i just put the uh, silicone or sticky tack and and silicone down uh, using the electrical tape over the hdmi port I think helped clean this up quite a bit. I didn't have to get in there and fiddle to, to pull all that out uh, and then basically use the sticky tack as a, a filler. Um, and then I won't have to do very much work at all to try to get this little bit of silicone around the perimeter taken care of. So I think it's worked pretty good for me. Like I said, we had some rain overnight, uh, maybe a half inch or so. We'll see how the footage works out. It looks like the screen at least isn't uh, covered in water spots and in all I had about 28,000 photos or, or over that and using a 128 gig card this is the one that came with my item uh, let's see that'll focus and this was about 60% full on that so as long as I can keep changing out the battery, um, I may be able to get about six days worth of filming on there. I wish there was a setting that I knew of to where I could not have this thing record when it, it gets fully dark because I've probably got at least 6,000 photos that are nothing but, but straight black. But we'll see how it goes.